Ciao muckers! Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to Florence. I have my little I Heart Florence t-shirt on. Um, people have been commenting that they're loving seeing the collection of I Heart shirts growing and let me tell you something, I am getting one from every place I glow. Every place I glow. Every place I glow. Every place I go. And Florence is for sure my favorite place I have traveled to. The people are amazing. It is the most beautiful place in the entire world and I just have nothing but amazing things to say about Florence. Um, I ended up extending Florence. Um, I'm going to Paris tomorrow because I'm going to a fashion week event, and which I can't believe I got invited to. So I'm circling back to Paris and then we're doing Lisbon and then, and then, and then that's us. We did our, we did our little European trip and it's been so fun. I've been vlogging everything. My Florence one will be up later. I really appreciate everyone uh, watching the vlogs, but if you can or can't tell, I just woke up. I had a little bit of a nap. It's currently midnight here in Florence. And I was doing my like mindless scrolling on TikTok, which I normally do. I love my bedtime phone. You know, just, I love it. It's, it's my me time. And I know you shouldn't use your, I don't give a fuck. I'm using it. And I was scrolling and I saw this video pop up um, from the, the TikTok page that we love, the Spill Some Tea With Me. Um, if you want to be on the ball with any drama that's going on, spill some tea with me, one on TikTok, go follow them. Um, I get recommended their stuff a lot. I follow them. I really enjoy their account. And I saw this video of Jason Nash from his podcast, you know, show up. And normally if I saw a Jason Nash thing, I'd be like, ah, you immediately scroll. You're like, jump scare. Oh my God, what is that? But anyway, I decided to watch it because the caption on it was like, Jason Nash talking about his disappointment in David Dobrik or something. And I was like, the girls are fighting. Okay. So I watched this video. It, I have so many opinions of it that I got my ass out of bed. I went like this to my hair. I powdered my face. I threw this shirt on and we're now filming. I didn't think I was going to film, but I have so many opinions on this and I need to talk about this right now because it's so fucking weird. So Jason Nash is, I have these two videos that we're going to watch here. Jason Nash is on his podcast talking about these things with David Dobrik and it comes across so fucking weird. So he's talking about that he's disappointed that basically David Dobrik has left him for dust, that David Dobrik now no longer really works, which is the weirdest way that they were phrasing it. You know, he he's really not in his working era right now. He just kind of parties and stuff after he did all that to Jeff. But, you know, he's just taking it easy and gets to live his life, you know, with no repercussions. So what's so funny to me as well is when people talk about David Dobrik not really working anymore and, you know, living just his life. The reason he's living his life and not really working is because he's been blacklisted by a lot of people, like, in the general public because of what he's done to Jeff Wittick. So let's not rewrite history as in he's just on his, you know, endless summer vacation right now. That's not the case. Jason's talking about how this is what David's doing and how it has affected Jason's career. Jason said that he, you know, is telling Dave, or David that he's, like, almost lo losing his house, losing his job. And one of the reasons that this is a conversation that people are having is because, I don't know if you're on TikTok, but I don't follow Jason Nash. But for some fucked up reason, every, like, 10 scrolls I do, it's Jason Nash live on TikTok. It could be a Sunday night at 3 a.m. And that motherfucker is live on TikTok being like, send gifts, send gifts, send money, send money. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I have never seen... What age is Jason Nash? Old enough. And I'm sure he looks a lot older than what he is. No shade. He's also not a good person. He's not a good person the way he dropped Jeff and all. I, I'm not Jason Nash's. And also when you revisit the Trisha relationship, like, he's just not a good person. He is begging for money on TikTok. Like, begging for money. I'm not talking about like, oh, please donate. He's begging the audience to send him money. Like this man is desperate right now. And this podcast is talking about why he's now so desperate in his career. And everyone in the podcast is like shitting on David Dobrik. And here's the thing. I am, um, if there is a David Dobrik hater, it's me. <laughs> I do not like David Dobrik for many reasons. One of the main being the Jeff Wittick situation. This is really weird though. And I feel like I'm being neutral in it because I don't like David and I don't like Jason. But the way that Jason's talking about David is like, it's like that Kim meme, the Kim Kardashian, get your fucking ass up and work. Like he is blaming his entire downfall on the fact that David Dobrik no longer works. And you know what it comes across as? You can no longer piggyback off of people because you know what? Jason Nash piggybacked off of David Dobrik. And you know what? 
Jason Nash piggybacked off of Trisha Paytas. People always would say the other way about it, but if you really think about that now and the way that Jason Nash has worked in his career, he piggybacked off of Trisha Paytas and the relevance of Trisha Paytas to keep his career afloat in the times when David wasn't vlogging. Now, let's get to these two clips. I just think it's incredibly fucking weird. And I don't like either of them. It's a lot, man. It, it is they, a lot. They, like, the thing is, like, David's in this, like, moment in his life. Yeah. Where he can do anything. Where he yeah. just parties, like, every day. <laughs> like, genuinely, if there was a party every day, Jay, he would be at it. Not kidding. This is also really weird, considering Jeff and David are still doing their legal battle. And again, the main reason that David isn't working right now is because public favor is not on his side, nor will it ever be. So this isn't just him, you know, taking a little break. This is him being forced into one. Yeah. And he'd be drinking, having a good time, yeah, whatever. Yeah. I just can't do that, man. You know? No, I like, can't either. I just can't do that. And, like, I'm not... <clears throat> he has something to celebrate because he's made it. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah, we've yeah. talked about this before. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah. put myself in that... He also nearly killed someone. His best friend, actually. And took zero responsibility or accountability for it. Cheers to that, David. That's it. Like, yeah, he calls me to play pool. And I'm like... I uh, gotta go live. And, <laughs> and I don't. So these are the battles where he's begging people for money. And I don't expect him to understand that. Like, I, yeah. I know I've told him. There's also things that I, like, say to him, and I'm not sure if he hears me. <laughs> like, I'll say things like, I'm losing my house. <laughs> and, and he'll be like, oh, but just go play pool. <laughs> <laughs> there was a great TikTok that he sent, which was, like, some guy. I don't know if you saw it. He sent it to me. It's just, like, a TikTok, and it's just, is this not the weirdest thing ever, by the way? All of David Dobrik's friends sitting around in a podcast being like, <laughs> it's so great that he gets to, you know, not work. <laughs> I can't pay my mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> this is the weirdest fucking podcast ever. Guy on the phone, and it's, like, it's basically David. He's like, yeah. It's just the guy that has like a lot of money and can and can do anything all day. He's like, oh, Dipple's having a party tonight, and like yeah. it's literally yeah. like things that David has said. I mean, it's crazy because like, all four. Yeah, this is so fucking awkward. He but if you think it. about it, though, from eighteen to like what 23, 24. Oh, he was hitting. It he, he never he never drank. I don't think he oh, ever drank. Yeah, never, never did never, anything. No, 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 and no, I just didn't. remembered he would like, even when we would um, visit him, we'd be up to like midnight just. Like watching the edits, just like, hey, is this is this part better or this one's better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he would have everyone just crowd around his bed. I just remember that. I was like, that I was thought so that fun. was insane. Yeah. And and that. So apparently now David is the hardest working person in the entire world because he edits YouTube videos until midnight. Motherfucker, I'm filming this at midnight, so I work harder than David. <laughs> but now it's like the complete opposite. Everyone's like working, and here's him just like, hey, what are you doing tonight? And it's like a Tuesday night. Everyone's working. <laughs> you want to watch them? This is so fucking lame. Are we all not embarrassed making this? What is this conversation? This is the most embarrassing conversation, self-inflicted embarrassing conversation I think I've ever, if I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. It's just a crazy switch, honestly. Mm. But I just, I mean, I just can't, I just, I mean, the guy, the guy worked hard, you know, for four he years. Did, he did. You were there. Yep. I mean, you live like eight, I mean, he vlogged for four years. Come on. Have you ever seen a harder working person? And here's the thing. I'm aware that David Dobrik is not the hardest per working person in the entire world. I don't care to argue on that. I don't know why they're like, he doesn't work anymore. Isn't that so great? He, he's the hardest working person in the entire world. <laughs> I'm broke. Like. Okay. Was, honestly, Jason. I know, and that, that YouTuber time is so, um, you do so much in such a little amount of time. Like, I don't know, you're like doing so much. Yeah. Me meaning like in one day, you know, you're at a ranch shooting. You're at uh, freaking Madison Beer's apartment. Shooting. Oh my God. You know what I mean, you're just like. Holy shit. What a crazy work day. You're at a ranch <laughs> and then you're at Madison Beer's house. Why did they fit it all in in one day? Just 
so much in just a little amount of time. Yeah. I miss the I miss the podcast. I wish he So this is the podcast that David and Jason did and David dropped Jason so they no longer do the podcast anymore. And once that podcast stopped, Jason Nash's career went No one cared. No one cared anymore. I miss the money of the podcast. <laughs> I see Jason say this on a TikTok clip like every other week. What do I do? He turned down ten million dollar deal. I see you say that on like TikTok clips oh, all the time. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. With you, well, that's that. like that's a, that's like a joke from my act that I say, which is, you know, he turned down all this money and all he had to do was talk to me once a week for forty minutes. You know, like. <laughs> um, <laughs> and and you, I'll tell you why it stings. It, this is so fucking weird. This is why I immediately had to film on this. I don't like David. I don't like Jason. Don't couldn't name anyone else that's in this room. What is going on here? It's like undertones of fucking despising David Dobrik. Like the undertones here are that they fucking despise him. But then they're like, he's so amazing. Let me ask the audience, like... Because that's that's literally every comment on TikTok Live. When's the podcast coming back? So that's why it stings, because it's like, if no one yeah. cared, I'd yeah. be like, oh, whatever. No, that was the best podcast. But you just ever. said it was about it money. Was fun. Um, and you were great on it when you would come on. Thanks. He would, always, <laughs> he would always drag you in there, and you'd be like, I gotta work. And then he'd yeah. fire you up. It is crazy how, like... No matter how many people love it around him, if he doesn't love it, he just won't do it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and the, which is totally fair. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Which is like, if you're not into it, that's why I don't I don't bring it up. They were just like, it's crazy how we're all on board with it except for David, so it doesn't happen. And then they're like, but you know, that's so great that he, you know, makes that decision. It's so great. Let's get our heads out of the act. Like, David Dobrik must have an insane amount of things on these people for them to be so far up his fucking ass. It is a crazy concept because you give that concept to anybody else and they're like, what? You know what I love? I love seeing this. And then I love seeing that Jeff Wittick is like thriving and has this pod. Like, I don't even care for Jeff Wittick, but I love seeing the parallels of Jeff Wittick's career taking off and the sadness that is this clip. You but look how happy they are. Oh, million. million dollars. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. All you have to do is literally go from your bedroom to your downstairs <laughs> pantry. And talk. Oh, wait. This is the second half of that clip. Ten million dollar deal. I see you say that on, like, TikTok clips oh, all the time. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's, that? like, that's, like, that's like a joke for my act that I say, which is, you know, he turned down all this money and all he had to do was talk to me once a week for 40 minutes, you know, like... <laughs> Um, <laughs> and, and you, I'll tell you why it stings is because that's that's literally every comment on TikTok Live. When's the podcast coming back? So that's why it stings because it's like if no one yeah. cared, I'd yeah. be like, oh, whatever. No, that was the best podcast ever. It was fun. Um, and you were great on it. We need to broaden you your horizons, Queen. Thanks. He would always <laughs> he would always drag you in there and you'd be like, I go to work, <laughs> and then he'd yeah. fire you up. It is crazy how like. No matter how many people love it around him, if he doesn't love it, he just won't do it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the, which is totally fair. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah which yeah. is like, if yeah, you're yeah, into yeah. it, that's why I don't I don't bring it up or whatever. It is a crazy concept because you give that concept to anybody else and they're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't do that for $10 oh, million? Dollars? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. All you have to do is literally go from your bedroom to your downstairs <laughs> pantry and talk for 40 minutes for $10 million and everyone loves you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. that's not the case. Not everyone loves you. There's, yeah, there's but, a lot of, there's a lot of people I'm that are like, pissed too. True, but I'm just saying generally the people that listen. Yeah, generally the people that listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love yeah. you, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's debrief. What the fuck is going on with David Dobrik's ex-friends? What is this? Do they love him? 
Do they resent them? Like, do they hate him? That was quite possibly the craziest clip I've ever watched in my entire life. I am begging you to talk to me about this down below. What is going on here? I will see you in my next video. Please, can we talk about this down below? What was that? Okay. Thank you for watching. Grazie. Ciao.